Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, as you can see by the title, is going to be a hair care routine. So I'm just going to be sharing a few tips or at least one method that I enjoy doing to keep my hair healthy and long. So what that method is, is basically a hot oil or just coconut oil treatment. And um, on my phone, I did write down some of the benefits. And if you want, you can look further into um, coconut oil mask for your hair. So the first thing that um, the coconut oil does for your hair is it moisturizes your hair and scalp. It is an antifungal and gets rid of dandruff if you have dry hair. It penetrates the hair shaft. It protects your hair from losing protein when washing, which results in thicker hair. It contains vitamin E which helps your hair to be strong and healthy. It also helps to pre prevent hair loss. Um, it contains fatty acids that strengthen your hair and it gives your hair a healthy shine. Um, this doesn't just happen overnight. You can do this method pretty much once a week depending on like your schedule or you could at least do it twice, or not twice a week, like every two weeks and just gradually see progress, but it's not something that's going to happen overnight. Also, you want to use organic coconut oil. The coconut oil that I use is the Trader Joe's Organic Virgin Coconut Oil. And um, any coconut oil that is organic will do. If you would like to, you can mix it with other oils because there is many oils out there for your hair that does different things and concentrates on different things. But I really like the coconut oil and I also like the scent of the coconut oil in my hair, so that's why I use it. Plus, if you dye your hair or your hair is dead, coconut oil really revives your hair and makes it look healthy. And also, it protects, like, it from heat and anything so say that one day you run out of heat protectant but you have coconut oil it's okay to take a little bit rub it in your hands put it in your hair and you can blow dry it straighten your hair or anything because it is a heat protectant so now I'm going to stop rambling about coconut oil and I'm going to show you guys how I apply the coconut oil to my hair okay so pretty much the first thing that you want to do is change your shirt if you're wearing something nice or something that you don't want to get ruined so I'm just wearing a basic black muscle t-shirt that I really don't care if coconut oil gets on it then obviously you want to let your hair down and this is my crazy hair when it's not brushed so now you're just gonna obviously want to brush out any tangles and a tip that when brushing your hair is start from the bottom that way you don't pull any of your hair when you start from the top so you don't get hair breakage. So all I'm gonna do is just brush my hair now. Okay, so now my hair is fully brushed out and what I like to do is take my hair in sections. So obviously I like to start from the bottom of my hair and just section it off. It does not have to be perfect sections, but all I like to do is section it off and then pretty much take a hair tie and tie up the excess hair that I'm currently not using. So then once my hair is tied up, I pretty much like to split my hair from two with the section. Sorry, my hair is so long that it doesn't fit in the frame. My hair is literally to my hips, so, um, so I apologize in advance. But um, all I'm gonna do is split my hair in two just like this, and I'm going to take my brush and run it through just one more time to make sure that there is no crazy tangles or anything while applying the coconut oil. So now I'm gonna go in and take the coconut oil and I'm just going to be careful with this because it kind of already is melted because of the temperature in my house. And obviously I can't open this. How embarrassing. So once you have it open like I do, um, depending on your hair, my hair is very thick. So I'm going to take a, just a spoonful for right now. And I'm just going to put it into a bowl. That way I don't get my fingers into the um, oil that is already in the bottle. Because then that just messes up the oil. So I'm just going to put some in a bowl right now. I don't like to heat the product up right away. Because I feel like that takes away the organic purpose and saturation of the hair. So now what I'm going to do is just take some of the oil just on my fingertips. And I'm going to concentrate it on the bottom of my hair. So I just like to soak my ends of my hair into the coconut oil like this. 
and just work my way up making sure that all pieces of my hair is getting saturated with the coconut oil so I'm just going to do that and work my way up if you do have dandruff or a dry scalp you're going to want to focus a lot of the product in the scalp so I like to focus my product towards the end because that's where I get split ends and things like that so then when I get to the root of my hair I like to saturate my fingers a little bit more and massage the coconut oil into my scalp that way it penetrates the scalp and gets the scalp heated up so that your hair can absorb the coconut oil that is going into your hair so basically that's what I'm going to be doing throughout my whole hair it's pretty self-explanatory um, it's not that difficult but you can put as little or as much coconut oil in your hair as you would like it's all personal preference and what like how damaged your hair is so pretty much this is what I'm going to be doing and I will be showing you guys to me so process. now I'm gonna obviously move on to the other side of my hair and do the same process starting from the bottom and working my way up I went ahead and I fast forwarded the next few clips of me just adding in the coconut oils from the tips to the root of my hair. Now I'm just going to go and run the brush through my hair that way I can make sure every strand of my hair was saturated with the coconut oil. Once my hair is brushed out I'm going to go ahead and flip my hair over and tie it up into a messy bun. up in a bun I like to take a blow dryer to my hair that way it can loosen up the oil and the hair and that way the hair can absorb the oil and start doing its magic I guess you would say So now that my hair is blow dried, I'm going to wait 30 minutes. You can wait at least 15 to 30 minutes and there's another option as well. You can pretty much sleep in the mask and wash it out in the morning, but I personally do not have all the energy in the morning to wash my long, thick hair. So now I'm just gonna wait the 30 minutes and then I'm going to shower and shampoo my hair and condition it. I'm not gonna show that in the video, but it's pretty common sense on how you wash your hair and make sure all the oil is washed out. Then I'm gonna come back and blow dry and style my hair like I normally do. So pretty much I'm just gonna put a heat protectant in, blow dry my hair and then straighten it and I will show you guys the result. Okay, so I pretty much just got finished getting ready and all I did to my hair was straighten it like I always do and pretty much this is the result of my hair. I'm pretty sure you guys can tell on camera that it looks shiny shinier than it did before and um, my hair can't fit in the frame because it literally goes down to my butt but this is what the back of my hair looks like I don't know if that was a good way to show my hair or not but I'm sorry it's just so long and I have nobody here to record the full length of my hair but anyways if you guys try this mask out be sure to show me on snapchat Instagram or Twitter by tagging me adding me if you are not already so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and it helped you guys out so I will talk to you soon bye